everyone, Selena here, and you know I love to go out to eat. You can't do that right now. A lot of restaurants and marketplaces are still having a lot of success with their delivery and takeout options. Some places, like one of my favorites here in Swickley Mediterra Cafe, are even offering take-it-home meal kits so you could prepare some of your favorite meals of theirs in the comfort of your own home. It's a fun little escape to come here. You know, we're a cafe, we're a bakery, we have pastries, we have all these kits that you can take home. It's a grocery store. They have it all at Mediterra Cafe, a family owned and operated bakery, cafe, and market, which has been open for nearly two years in Swickley. Their big sellers right now during the stay at home order are the take it home meal kits. So inside our pizza kits, you get two artisan pizza dough balls. Okay, you have our house-made sauce and our house cheese blend. Other popular meal kits they have sold include their coffee kits and charcuterie kits. So this one has a sesame cracker in it. It has a sheep's milk cheese, a little spicy jam that's kind of local. It's from Philly. And then a domestic salumi. So you can make half a board or the whole board. You can save it for later. So just a nice little snack for at home. This weekend, Mediterra will be launching their do-it-yourself focaccia bread baking kit with all of the ingredients included. So Anthony and Meliotis, who is part of the family and head of production at the Bakehouse, thought it would be fun to show our PTL viewers how to make a basic loaf of bread at home for beginners like me. Today we're going to do our Red Fife Levan bread, which is kind of one of the flagship breads of Mediterra. This sourdough bread has a ton of flavor, but only has three ingredients ingredients, flour, Sicilian sea salt, and cold water. If you're doing this at home, you know, you probably won't be doing a batch this big, but you just got to kind of get in there and, you know, mix everything until it's fully incorporated. It also looks like a great stress reliever too. So this is the dough we mixed after three hours of fermentation. And I can tell based off this, you know, you can fill the air, you can fill the air in the dough. Uh, this is ready to be cut. Now it's time to divide the dough and give it a pre-shape. Now comes the fun part. Throw down some flour on top and start cutting, but Anthony says it's important to be as gentle as possible when you're shaping the bread. Yours looks beautiful. So Mine does that. That's good. <laughs> After the final shape, place the dough in a basket lined with a towel covered in even more flour. Let it sit for a few hours or even overnight, depending on your schedule. But these are perfect and ready for the oven. Anywhere from 425 to 450, depending on the way your oven works. So your Dutch oven should be in there and it should be really hot. Be careful when you pull it out because it will be really hot. You'll then want to place the bread into it and let the scoring begin. It will then bake for about 40 to 45 minutes. The first 20 you can leave the lid on and the last 20 take it off. That looks like a perfect nice. loaf of bread. It's so good. You can buy bread, pastas, olive oil, sauces, soups, eggs. It's really a one-stop shop for breakfast, coffee, lunch, and dinner. They've been keeping very busy with delivery orders through DoorDash and pickup orders too. So we'll put your name and receipt on the bag. You'll pay ahead of time so you can just walk in, grab it off the table, and be on your way so you don't have to have contact with anyone. Marinara with uh, tomatoes, garlic. We take it week to week. Um, you know, obviously with what's going on, we have to uh, we have to adjust. You know, between our our vendors and what's available. And don't forget this weekend they will be adding another meal kit. It's the take it home bread kit so you could prepare your own delicious Mediterra bread right at home. So make sure to check that out. I'm Selena Pompiani for PTL.